welcome to another episode of Red Life with me, comedian Carl Yard. Um, today I have two special guests uh, to my right. Once again is the fabulous Mr. Gary Patinella, comedian. Uh, Hi. And to, to, did I say to my left? He said to your right. Oh, I said to my right. And to his right, the lovely, charming, and the beautiful uh, Miss, 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 Miss Alicia Constantino, humorist and entrepreneur. Did I miss anything, Alicia? No. no. Okay. Uh, today's show, we're going to talk about a bunch of stuff. Um, Just stuff. We were going to talk about um, the health care. They call it Obamacare. I don't know why they call it Obamacare. It's uh, the Health Care Act, the mm -hmm. ACA, but they call it Obamacare. Even the president calls it Obamacare, I guess, because... I'm not sure he wants to be... I, I, I get, well, that. if it works, well, I guess he it. wants to be attached to it. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, it should be successful, so then he can get all the accolades. But I don't know enough about that. I have no idea. Me neither. I mean, about that, so. Um, Who's our president? <laughs> Who's our president? Um, so, as usual, as I always say, we try to make the uncomfortable comfortable. And today, we are absolutely going to do that. And our main topic today is going to be gay marriage. Um, I've been married to Gary now for <laughs> <laughs> uh, We have different, obviously we have different points of views about gay marriage. Um, and I looked up the definition of marriage and the definition of marriage. Marriage, the formal union of a man and a woman typically recognized by law by which they become husband and wife. I read this earlier and Alicia and Gary both say, well, who came up with that definition? I mean, it's been the definition since the beginning of time, I take it, and that's always been the definition. But they don't seem to think that's a good definition of marriage. You know, Gary, can you tell me what your definition of marriage would be? Between two, two people that love each other, a goat and a sheep, a pig and a dog. That's two people living miserably uh, <laughs> is my definition of marriage. But uh, yeah, two people. It's I don't think it has anything to do with a man and a woman. Uh, I think our religion wants us to think that, and, and and our country's been based on that. But I don't believe that's. I truly don't believe that's what it's about. That marriage yeah. between just man and and, woman? and you know and when you have two people the same sex that want to get married. Uh, a lot of it too is for uh, you know a financial reasons. I think first of all is when you tell somebody they can't do something, they want to do it more. Um, and that said, there I think it's also a uh, you know it's a money issue because you know they can't get the benefits of the other person's uh, you know health benefits and stuff because you know if they're not married. So we should let them get married just because for financial reasons? We should let them get married just because they want to get, get married. Well, I, I mean, think heterosexuals have screwed it up enough. I mean, what's the divorce rate? But 73%. 70. So how could they do any worse than we do? Well, actually, the first gay uh, marriage, uh, I think, in this country, uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, they're actually divorced. It was in Texas. Well, I'm sure the first heterosexual couple isn't together anymore either. But, I mean, the, de the definition, as you read it, says, as stated by law. Right. So that's not going to be an accurate definition because if gay marriage is legal, then by law it's not going to be between a man and a woman anymore. So, so that definition itself has to change. Yeah, so Mr. Webster has to change it. <laughs> so yeah. obviously, so now we have to go back into the uh, dictionary and change the definition mm -hmm. of marriage? Is that why? They would have to. The Constitution is changing all the time. You know, they're taking more stuff away from us that is in our Constitution. So what's the difference? I mean, they're going to take our guns away, but you can't put in, you know, get... Gay marriage? Why? Well, it's not constitutional. I mean, marriage isn't isn't constitutional. I understand it's, it's that. It's more of a, it's a biblical, it's a religious thing more than anything else, and you know, it's a belief system. Well, it's not so much, you know, other people in other parts of the world have no problem with this. I mean, I understand the reason. Honestly, I don't really care if two people of the same sex marry, but me personally, do you? Uh, are you a hundred percent behind the whole gay? marriage and movement because me I like I would never be violent towards gays or want to hurt them but seeing two guys together yeah it, it to me it doesn't feel right as a mother I would want to have to but, explain that to my children if I saw yeah. that on the street but then again I wouldn't want to have to explain my children a woman and a man pawing each other on the street either I mean it's you know but it's something that we have to face no. I mean it's here and it's not going anywhere so but, it's something that has to be dealt with yeah but I'm saying I understand how people 
white people are against gay marriage because as a heterosexual male, when you see two men together in a romantic way, it just seems that something's wrong with that. What about two women? I, I don't have a problem with two women. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know you were going to say that? But I don't. I mean, this, on this show, I'm, I'm totally honest, but I see two guys together and it, you know what I mean? There's and a I lot think, of people that don't even like to see men and women but I'm saying know, that's you know, that's why each other in a public place. There's no need for it. I mean, can I say that I'm 100% behind it? I can't. I'm not gay, so I, I really can't, you know, imagine what it would be like to have somebody tell me, I know that you're in love with somebody, but you cannot marry them. Yeah. Now, to me, there's a difference between, you know, being married and, and having a life together. I mean, it's, you know, you can live with somebody. Why is it so important for well, they call it a civil be, union. Exactly. Because... You know, the way I was raised, marriage is something that happens in a church between a marriage, you know, between a man and a woman. A civil union in, is all the same legal, you know, sort of, you know, byproducts of being married without having to actually call it a marriage. I mean, what's, what's really the difference? Yes. Well, I have a list here of top ten reasons why gays shouldn't get married. Okay. It's not my list. Okay. I, I went on the internet. I did some research. They were like, I swear to God, there were like at least 50 lists. Oh, I'm sure there is. Are we going to discuss each one? Go for it. We can it. do a few. Okay, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> the first one says, it's not natural. To who? To whom? To people. Well, you're like my stereo. <laughs> They're saying it's not natural. It's not natural to people that don't know about it or don't believe in it. Animals yeah. do it. They do? Yes. You know what's funny you said that? I When I was growing up in Barbados, I had pigeons. I kept pigeons. Mm -hmm. I had like... Probably 50 well, how pigeons. do you know the difference between a man and a woman pigeon? And I, you gotta look up their skirt. You can tell. And I had, I had two male pigeons that were built to nest. And you know how, like, you, I don't know if you ever had pigeons, but they'll kind of kiss. <laughs> I have to say, I've never you had never pigeons. You never had pigeons? I've never had pigeons, no. They would, like, kiss, you know, like, yeah. put each other's mouth together and then do this thing. Oh, like they have now, mouths? are they, yes, they do. And now, that's natural, yes. But they were, but, but they were two male pigeons. But that's and they, nature. They built Is a nest not? together. How do you know they were male? Because you can tell. Okay, the way you tell, if you take a pigeon, you hold it in your hand, you hold the feet in your hand like this, you take the beak and you pull it down to its chest, if the tail goes up in the air, it's the male. If the tail stays down, it's the female. And that's how we tell. Okay. Or you can stick your finger in the back part of it, and there's like <laughs> two bones. The bones for the male are wide, for the female are wide because she has to she has to eggs, lay eggs. And the male, the bones are close together. So that's the second but way. But again, that's nature. Right. So how is that telling well, you that's I not mean, natural? Well, I mean, like I said, it's not my list. I believe that's I guess more the new of a question religious is, Should male problem. pigeons be allowed to mate? <laughs> <laughs> In Barbados, yes. So do you, do you believe you're born gay or do you believe you, you just decide one day, you know what, I'm going to be gay? You know what, I had nothing to do last week and I thought about it. I'm like, yeah. should I be gay? I personally yeah. believe you're born gay. I, I, actually, I believe I mean, you're born. I do. I, believe I actually born had gay. this conversation with, with, with people multiple times. And that's the two things that people say is, uh, you know, are, are gay people, um, is it natural or is it something that happened in their life? You know, is it nurtured? Is it nature? Or, or nurtured, uh, and I think it could happen in both ways. Something can happen in somebody's life that makes them gay. I honestly believe you're born gay because you I could agree. be. If 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 I had to pick a group of people that I want to be part of, and I look at that group of people and I see how they're being treated, you think I would go? You know what? I'm, I want to be just like them. I, I'm going to turn gay so I can be mistreated in society and and be. You know what I mean? That would be Why my would point. I pick Why that would you group? pick a harsher right. life for yourself? Wait, hold on. What but you, how like, can you help who you're attracted to? I mean, in reality. What would make him more attractive than you to somebody? I mean, that's just something you're born with. I had to face that fact a long time ago. I'm going to be attractive to everybody, but... Okay. So, so you believe that you're born gay? I believe, uh, I, I believe most of the uh, point is that people are born gay, yes. But I, I, but I, I do think that things could happen in somebody's life that could... That make that turn... Yeah. Yeah, like they went into a phone booth. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> I mean, because... Came out gay man? Yeah. Awesome. But you remember, like, uh, there was that girl that was going over with Alan DeGeneres, and then she was, was gay, Alan Hayesh? Anne Hayesh? Yes, Anne she Hache. was married. No, she was married after Alan. Correct? She was gay with Alan, and she said, oh, I'm not gay. And but again, does it, is it really a matter of being gay, or is it a matter of who you're attracted to at the time? See, I don't know. Well, you know what, like everybody says about... Do we have the capability to be attracted to both sexes? Yes. I've never I I've think seen being, men that I, I thought are good looking, but I've never had a sexual thought. Of yeah, them. right. I've never. <laughs> have you? Have you had a sex? Have you seen a guy and you, you had a sexual, even no. a quick? 
But I think is that more of you know how society has made you feel about thinking that way? Because it is a proven fact that everybody has some sort of homosexual fantasy. Really? Yes. I didn't have mine yet. <laughs> but, I'm, but, but I'm waiting for it. You are. You're on the wait list? I'm on the waiting list. Good. I've never had that. I've never seen a guy and thought, you know. You want to be with him? Yeah, never. I've, I've never. But you've had, looked at a man and said, that's well, an he's attractive good. man. Yeah, I was going, that's man, I wish I had that face. Cause he's but again, you know. But it's not like I want to kiss his face. Or, well. <laughs> <you know. laughs> yeah. Okay. I mean, is it, I mean, you know, I believe that you are born gay, yes, but I do believe that people may also make the decision to be attracted to somebody and, and have a life with them. You can have a life with somebody that you don't ever want to have sex with. I mean, you're married. I don't need to explain that to you guys, right? <laughs> you can spend your life with somebody and, and, you know, not be attracted to them. Well, there's different types of love. Of uh, course there is. You know, you know, you don't choose who who you love, but, you know, you could love somebody that you don't have sex with and you could love somebody that you want to have sex with. So, mm -hmm. but... Um, I don't know. Um, yeah. All right. The second on the list of reasons why gay marriage should not be allowed is uh, marriage is for procreation. Really? Uh, sex is for procreation. Make... Marriage is for procreation. Well, but again, did you pull these lists out of like 1840 England? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Not every marriage yeah. produces children. Not every time you have intercourse produces children. If but, that were the case, why are condoms so popular? Why is the morning after pill so popular? But isn't that why God created a whole marriage union? Okay, yeah, okay well, listen. Do you plan on having, you know, excuse me. <laughs> Do you plan on having kids anymore? No, I'm done. Do you and your wife still have sex? Yeah. Why? Why? Because this feels good. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, uh, but okay, again, if you're so not, if the only purpose is for, you know. Because we already procreated, so we can hang it up now. Marriage is for so procreation. That's not true. No, that's not true. Because you're not, you know, in the Bible, they don't believe in birth control. So you are, every time you have sex, you have to understand that that can result in a child. Well, if you, no, I got the... So uh, there's no way. Oh, so you cheated the system. There's no way I can procreate anymore. But I mean, this is the argument people are bringing. But like I said, uh, did you pull that list out of Victorian England on your way down, or I mean, no, that's just I absurd. got this right off the internet. There was like that's there were absurd. like 50 different websites, and they all had the same, pretty much the same list. If every time somebody had sex, they had a child, do you know what this planet would look like? Uh, absolutely. Yeah, it'd be like insects. Absolutely. Okay, and it says uh, another thing against gay marriage, you're trying to redefine the institution. Whose institution? Exactly. The marriage institution, society. We have certain rules in society we're supposed to live by, and gay marriage is not living says by that. Says who? By there are society, majority, majority rules, right? No. Majority? Really? No. No, majority rules. No, majority does the not majority work. of society says this is the way. <laughs> We're supposed to live. So if the majority back in the old times there, it says that the world was flat, it, that's, that means it's true? Because no. the majority said well, so? That's a different, I think that's, that's a bit different. No, because well, he, just, just because you have a bunch of people that think the same way doesn't make it right or wrong. Just saying. <laughs> go ahead. If we go to the next one, because next we can't one. even argue that. It's a threat to the sanctity of marriage. Divorce is a threat to the sanctity of marriage. Agreed. You don't agree? You agree with that I, one? Is I, a threat to the sanctity of marriage? Because it's... So marriage has I mean, no meaning then. So anybody can get married. You guys, I mean... It's, if marriage had such so marriage good has meaning, no meaning, there then. would be no divorce. Exactly. There'd be no divorce okay, at all. So, okay, so we're going to... So I have no right to speak on the sanctity of marriage because I'm divorced? So, okay, so are we all going to agree then that marriage shouldn't even exist anymore then? I mean... Does it really? When, you know I mean? when did Should, marriage start? What do you mean when did marriage start? When did marriage start? Because, I mean, cavemen didn't get married. Did you see them sitting by a rock and, you know, and, 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 and sitting, no. So, we no. Should, so as long as two people love each other, they should be allowed to get married? Yeah. Yes. Okay, regardless, Probably. so, you know what I mean? If you want to marry a traffic cone, all the more power to you. I, it's not, you know, I don't So think marriage has no meaning then? It means something to, it means something to you, it means something to you, and it means something to me, but, but it means something different. different to everybody. So you're redefining it. You're we re redefine it every day. So Everything's re redefined. You, I mean, you know, Everything back in the changed. Middle Ages, you know, you would have married a 15-year-old girl because her father gave you three goats. That's probably true. Absolutely. Now, is that not making a mockery of marriage? You don't love her. Be she doesn't love you. Because you got a dowry? Exactly. So, I mean, how is that any different just because it's between a man and a woman? 
because God said. Have you spoken to him recently? <laughs> I have. Okay, <laughs> I was just checking. I just God wanted to make sure. Says, he's not returning my calls. <laughs> God said, this is what marriage is. No, man, no, that's no, what no, man no, no, no. said. That that's what man said that God said. Yeah, that he had Nobody's interpreted ever spoken because to man God. spoke to God. Really? And God told man, and now man. So you're saying that God no. is talking to people God as told right man, in the Bible. To, uh, and the God, the God, God told the man, the man came and told you, and now you need to listen. Well, to what God question. told the man to How say. come in some religions, okay, they're, uh, they're able to marry m multiple women? That doesn't ruin the sanctity of marriage. How do you love seven women? You can. That's a whole different thing. That that Why that's, like that that's the sanctity of marriage. That, well, I'm thinking. Yes, well, but religion is the one that claims that marriage is between a man and a well, woman. This is probably yeah. the, what about a man and a woman and a woman and a woman and a woman? What about a woman and a man and a man and a man? Well, I don't so, know what, what really so, that is. So <laughs> what's the what's your definition of marriage? Give me your definition. Misery. <laughs> What's your definition it's of marriage? It's two people who, you know, love each other well, and want a life two together. Two or more people, right? You can have two people. You can have four people. You can have ten people. Your marriage, a the definition of marriage. A group of people that love each other are, can marry. A marriage is, I think, it's individual. I think it's, def it's defined in the Bible as between a man and a woman. We are, we've taken that definition and we've made it law. That doesn't necessarily make it correct. Okay. Another reason. It will harm children. Oh, and you know, any oh. more to than the get, violence? It would harm children. Really? To have a kid get up in the morning and see dad and dad in the kitchen, you know what I mean, making breakfast and see dad and dad if laying on the couch. If you grow up, listen to me. Hugging. If you grow up. See dad and dad in the bathroom. I mean, is that good for the if kid? You, listen, if you grow up knowing only what you see, okay, and knowing that two people love each other, whether they're a man and a man and a woman and a woman, whatever, Okay, isn't the love shared in the household more mm -hmm. than a man and a woman living together that argue all the time and hit I each mean, other or yell at each other? Yeah. What's the difference? I mean, a man and a woman can be awful, awful. Or parents. somebody gets a drunk, you know, no, no, in the house, and the kids see. But it's better drunk. because they have opposite sex organs. That's ridiculous. I mean, that's just an absurd thought that two people, because they're man and a woman, are better parents. You that's don't think if a kid grows up in a house with. Uh, two men or two women, they're going to think, okay, this is the way life, this is the way it's supposed to be. I'm supposed to go out and look for a... Okay, well, check uh, this if out. If I'm a, a little girl, I'm supposed to go out, grow up and look for another woman. And if it's a little boy, he's going to think I'm... Okay. Well, no, because if it's something man. that you are born with, then no. I yeah, would have it, to disagree it, with that. If you're born finding a woman, you know, if you are born finding women attractive, okay, whether you're a man or a woman, it doesn't matter what your parents are. If your parents are a man and a woman, and you're gay, okay, and you grow up, you know, finding men, you know, you know, attractive, it's not because you've seen your your mother and father together. I mean, then let's be honest. Then, if that's the case, then should no one be gay? Because why are all the straight people having gay babies? What? I mean, that just—it's ridiculous to assume that if a child grows up in a household with two men, that they're going to be gay. Why don't you just assume well, that if a child grows up be, a household you, with a man and a woman, they're not before, going to be gay? You it's just not said that before, going to be gay. You just said before. I mean, you know, correct me if I'm wrong, but you just said before that somebody's born gay. So right. if you're, okay, so if you're not born gay, just because you live in a household, you know, with two men, that you're going to be attractive, you know, you know. To but men. here's my point: the kid. Even though he's not gay, he's going to be thinking there's something wrong with him because his parents are gay. If he grows up in a house, same thing with people that grow up gay. They try to hide it because they grow up with a man and a woman, father and mother. No, it's so, because society doesn't accept it. Hold on. That's so tough. they grow up in a house, mother and dad, to a man and woman together. They grow up gay. They like guys and they're like, there's something wrong with me. Because I like guys, but my dad and mom love each other, so there's something wrong with me. It'd be the same thing. But that's more of a personal be the, issue. It'd be I would the same say. thing for two uh, kid to grow up in the house with two males or two females. That per that kid's thinking there must be something wrong with me because I don't like another female. And is no, because what's the same? First of all, when the kid is that how it messes up listen, the kid? Listen, when you're when you're five years old, six years old, do you even think about stuff like that? Yes, they no. do. When you I love when, everybody. Yeah, I mean, you know, everybody. I mean. Even look at there's there's children okay that are abused, and they you know and they I, I'm sure they think that it might be okay by whatever that person tells them okay until later on they grow up realizing that it's wrong. The same it, it, it's like the same thing. I think that'd be more of a personal issue than it would be anything else. I mean, if you grow up in a household, if I were raised by two men, and I would grow up saying, God, you know. Is there it, something? I think it's confusing for the kid. I, ima I imagine it probably would be, but again, if 
you know, it depends on how you explain it to the child and how people accept the child. Also, I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna send that kid to school and he's gonna get picked on because he has two dads, yes, he might think that there's something wrong with that. But I think that it's so prevalent in society nowadays anyway that I don't think that anybody would make an issue out of it because everybody's so afraid of offending somebody that you can grow up in a house with four dads and no one's gonna say anything to you. They may talk about it behind your back, but they're not going to say anything to your face about it. Now, don't you think that uh, this whole, sometimes I feel like the whole gay movement kind of, they pushed and bashed and They're bashed and bashed and bashed away. They kind of forced this well, whole they, gay they, marriage they, they thing They kind of went over the but, top, yeah. yeah. But they, I mean, they had to. I mean, everything that was kept down, okay, and to, you know, and to get the rights and stuff that they wanted, you have to push and push and go over the top. You do. Once, once it's accepted, it won't be as much because now you're still trying to push it onto people. But, once it's accepted, it's gonna come back down. But what? Okay, what's in the, after gay marriage? Okay, what's what's next? Every person that comes up and say we want to do this, are we going to allow them to do it? Because I mean, if, you, if it seems like if you push hard enough in this society, you eventually get what you want. Well, well once you get your foot in the door, you know, know it's a slippery slope. Are we going to start letting people marry animals because enough people want to do that? Yeah, I mean, let, let, what, what, let's say that I decided, you know what, I want to I want to walk around and grab boobs. And for 10 years... You, you can't touch another person. Touching another person that, that doesn't no, want to be touched. That's what I want. I'm saying, I, and for 10 years, men, men are walking around just grabbing them. Eventually, society's going to go, okay, okay, you know what? Let's, let's let them grab the boobs. No, because, you, you know because I mean? that's a violation of somebody else. Thing. That's the same thing. Yes, but that's a violation but, of somebody else. I know, else. but to some people, gay marriage is a violation of what they, they believe. It, no, so it's why the are you thing? jamming it down their throats? You know what I mean? They're not. No, they're not jamming it. Listen, you have to accept. I'm not saying you have to accept this. But this is the way it's going to be. Why does it have to be that way? Because that's what they want. Don't play devil's advocate. With I'm me. just asking. He's right. I mean, like it's a slippery Eventually, slope when you open the door. What's let's next? Say, okay, let's pick something out. Let's say a guy say, "I want to marry a cow," and and then millions of guys, you know what? I love my cow. I want to marry. <laughs> I my, want to marry. I want to marry my. Cow. I want to marry my. Well, I just come back from Pennsylvania. You know, and there are some good-looking cows. <laughs> Eventually, out there. I mean, if you get all these guys, I mean, I want to marry, and they, they're at the capital, they're pushing in. We want to marry. Eventually, you got a society going. Okay, you know what? Just let them marry cows. You know what I mean? I, don't, I mean, I don't really know if what laws are against bestiality, but um, really, that's mean bestiality. Me. You just said, you just said, you said love. You said as long as you love it, there's no bestiality. The guy loves his cow. That's true. It's love. There's well, no how, bestiality. Well, how do you know if again? How, now, how do you, how do you know, know the cow loves him exactly. back? Exactly. The cow can't speak you for just itself. Know. You, I mean, the cow. You know what I mean, the cow you might be know. violated. The cow could be being my Or any other animal that The cow doesn't involved. have the same rights as a human being. But yeah. you understand where I'm going with I this, do. right? Yeah. Being a little sarcastic, but you understand. I'm, this is what people hear when they, you know, when people come. I know, but this is not the first fight brought to the table either. I mean, don't forget, you know, women 150 voting? years ago, women couldn't vote. You and I couldn't be on the same bus together. I mean, you know, uh, well, I mean, there is a but, legitimate fight. Well, you're right. But it just seems like gay marriage and gays together go against nature. It just seems like it. That's right? because it's something, listen. You have, you have, I don't you have, think, I don't you think. You have a billion, let's say you have 50 billion people in the world, and then you have, out of that 50 billion, you have like a million that are gay, you know what I mean? And so you have these 50 billion Going, what's wrong with those? You know, I mean, there's something wrong with them because there's all of us I and know, there's a little again, bit of them. Of course, so but you know something, something wrong. though, many, many years ago, you could have argued the same fight for women. You know, you have all these men and you have this group of women that want the right to vote. Well, why do they want the right? Yeah. What, what are you talking about? Why would we give them the right to vote? That's ridiculous. Yeah, you know, I, I mean, but old. people didn't believe that women were equal. Correct? I mean, yeah, they, you're, it's true. You're right. They didn't yeah. believe that women were equal. Does that make them correct? Mm, Who knows? No. I mean, you know, I mean, again, there's things you guys are better at than, than women. We know that, but, you know, we're better at pretty much everything. But, you know, but again, I mean, why are we excluding them? I mean, they, you know, they work, they pay taxes, you know, they own homes, they raise children, they contribute to society. Why are we treating them as less than you or I because they choose to marry somebody of the same sex? It, the bottom line is it just seems unnatural. It, just, it doesn't Maybe seem to, to follow. Yes. To me and a lot of millions of other people, it just mm -hmm. seems unnatural to go that path. You know. Well, then don't do it. You know, and they're I, not I forcing you to do it. They're just telling you they, this is what they're going to do. They yeah. they just want the same rights. 
So, you know, yeah. they're not telling you. you yeah, they're not marching those. on Washington saying, that's it, Carl, you have to be gay. We're taking over. No, they're not marching in front of your house. Car for you. when, whenever you. At least not as now, but I'm sure after yeah, the show. Yeah, you know, the, the difference in me and is like, I don't, like I, and I, I hate saying this, I have gay friends. I, to me, when people say that, to me, that means you don't really like, you know what I mean? Them, to I me, that's friends. worse. It doesn't matter to yeah, me who To me, that's worse. Than, I, ha I have friends that are yeah. sexually promiscuous. So what? You know, but <laughs> when you're, whenever you say, if you don't agree with, the one thing I don't like about some gay people is like, if you disagree with anything you about gay, them. you hate them. And that's not And it's true. homophobia. I'm just indifferent. You know I mean? It doesn't affect me, so I'm indifferent yeah. to it, I guess you could say. I you believe know. they're entitled to the same rights as we are. I'm not going to march on Washington for it. Yeah. But, you know, just because I won't doesn't mean I hate them. Yeah. You know, I don't join the, the Million Man March. I don't join the Puerto Rican Pride Parade. That doesn't mean I hate them. That just means I'm not one of them. You don't join a Million Man March? I don't. <laughs> I feel excluded. I'm sorry. I didn't get my invite this year. Well, that's because you're yeah. not a man. It's a million exactly. man march. Exactly. Don't you, have to be a, don't you have to be a black man to join the million man march? I don't think so. I no? really don't. You would know better than me. Why would I know? I don't know. I can't imagine. <laughs> you have more you're of the qualifications than I do. You're talking to Joey Mitchell. <laughs> You have more qualifications. I know. I mean, I it. believe anybody could have, you know, been in that march. And I believe there were a lot of white people in there. Yes, there were. In the million man march? Yeah. Yes, there were. Okay. I don't know if it was all men either. I think no, there were women there. No, there were women there. Yeah. So what have we concluded as far as gay marriage? You obviously we're still, are far in. We're still all in the same position that we were when we walked in here. Yes. I'm not gay. <laughs> you two are. And you're going to get married after this. <laughs> so um, I, I have to say I am for gay marriage, but I just can't get the whole but gay thing. But you're not thing. gay. I can't, I'm not, but I can't. I, two men together, I mean, I... I see you don't have to like it. You don't have to do okay, it. I'm you, just, I'm you don't like, have can to you eat listen it? to me first? No. Just no. listen? No. <laughs> no. I'm, not, I'm just saying this is, is the thing is you, you're not allowed to express your feelings. As soon as you start to say anything about gay or any group, people start yelling at you. I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying you can yell that when I, I can't watch two men kiss. It's just, I don't think it's I look attractive. away when I see it on TV. I look away because yeah, I just, it I, does just nothing I just for me. can't. But I don't hate them. No. I just can't watch you that. You just don't kind want to make out with them. Now people will tell me that you, I'm home. That is homophobia. I'm homophobic. I don't see no. that as home, being homophobic. No, I don't homophobia. see it as homophobic. You know what I mean? I would never no. like beat up or you know what I mean. That's not Two gays want to get married. That's fine. But I'm just saying. I just don't. I, I don't get the attraction of man to man. Homophobia is when you're afraid of gay people for some reason. Uh, you know, where you're afraid of what's going on. Um, yeah. You know, because you're afraid you, you know, you're going to catch it or something like that. But, you know, that's... Is it yeah. catchy? I don't know. You should have told me before I sat next to you. All right, I got to wrap this up. We've come to the, net, to the end of a very stimulating show. I, I must say I want to thank <laughs> Alicia Cos... <laughs> Costantino is that how you pronounce yes. that? Sorry. Okay. And uh, Gary Patnella, my guest on the show today. Uh, join us next week on our next show, which will be very exciting and also very enlightening. Thank you very much. You guys have a great night.